What's up guys, this is Adam Gillespie with Rancid and Sweaty Cavs coming at you with yet another video. Now, I have pulled up right here the Florida Senate uh, HB 1557 Parental Rights and Education Bill. I'm going to read for you this little excerpt right here, and then I'm going to show you a really disturbing leaked video of Disney behind the scenes. And it's going to be a five-minute video, and I'm pretty much going to just going to play it straight through, and then share my thoughts. Okay, this might be a longer video if I if I were to break it up. So here we go. Parental rights in education requires district school boards to adopt procedures that comport with certain provisions of law for notifying students' parents of specified information. Requires such procedures to reinforce fundamental right of parents to make decisions regarding upbringing and control of their children. Prohibits school district from adopting procedures or student support forms that prohibit school district personnel from notifying parent about specified information or that encourage students to withhold from parents such information. Prohibits school district personnel from discouraging or prohibiting parental notification and involvement in critical decisions affecting students' mental, emotional, or physical well-being. Prohibits classroom discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity in certain grade levels. Requires school districts to notify parents of health care services. Authorizes parent to bring action against school district to obtain declaratory judgment. Provides for additional award of the injunctive relief, damages, and reasonable attorney fees and court costs to certain parents. So, basically what that is saying is teachers can no longer push uh, ideologies or thoughts or pretty much just basic ideology was a good word the first time around. To parents... Uh, teachers cannot push ideologies on students without first notifying the parents of the curriculum that is being taught and the parents having a say in whether or not that will be taught to the classroom in a voting system uh, or in a, in a process where the kid cannot be manipulated by the teacher into thinking one thing if the parent doesn't want that kid to think that way. And then in, at the like n very end, right, the very end, it says... Uh, after it goes through uh, mental, emotional, and physical well-being, it also prohibits discussion of sexual orientation and gender identity in certain grade levels. Uh, again, that is essentially saying, hey, look, you're not allowed to basically talk about your sex life to a bunch of underage kids and manipulate them into thinking that whatever you're doing is totally normal or, or something or so on and so forth. It doesn't have anything directly against gay people, transgender people, lesbian people, bisexual people. It's literally about making sure that you cannot groom a child in grades kindergarten through third. There are more uh, there is more to this. I mean, you've got the related bills, one, bill text, five, amendments, 37, analysis, four, vote history, six, citations, one. So there is more to this. If you want to look it up, go on to Google and actually look up uh, the HB 1557 bill. That way you can get more about this, more information about this. And I know this is kind of an interesting start, but the reason why I bring that up is because we have here a video of a leaked call between Disney executives um, where they are openly, openly talking about their, their, their plan, their ideology, and their wish to infect young minds into thinking one way instead of another, and their desire to push this on people. So I'm going to let her talk. And then uh, break two down queer I children, her, right? actually. Um, one more uh, thing. This is a clip from the Daily Caller, so I highly doubt it's going to be copyrighted, but you know, just in case you didn't see Daily Caller right here, this is a clip from them. And uh, one Gordon transgender Jones. child um, um, and one pansexual child. Um, so she's the mother and, of and also as a leader. A um, one of our execs stood up and said, you know, we only have a handful of queer leads in our content. I don't the and I went, term. what? I, that can't be true. And I and I and I realized, oh, it, it actually is true. We have many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories and 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 yet we don't have enough leads um and narratives in which gay characters just just get to be characters um and and not have to be about 
gay stories. And so um, that's been very eye-opening for me. Um, and and I, I can tell you, um, it's something that I feel perhaps had this moment not happened, um, I as a leader and me as my colleagues would not have focused on. And, and going forward, um, I, I certainly will be more so. I know that we will be, and, um, and I hope this is a moment where, shoot, um, the 50% of the tears, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> are coming. Um, uh, we don't, we just don't allow each other to go backwards. On my little... Okay, okay. So I'm going to break that down really quickly. She is the mother of people who have uh, gender dysphoria. Pansexual, transgender, now children. She's calling them children. She's not calling them grown adults. She's calling them children. So unless, unless her word for children are... Uh, is is vastly different from what everyone else considers a child to, to, the word is trans child should not come out of anyone's mouth let's just be honest about that okay that should not come out of anyone's mouth you don't get to trans a kid and and just think oh it's totally normal because you're you're blocking their hormonal development if an adult wants to do that later on down the line that's their prerogative in the united states that's their prerogative in the free united states right they can choose to do that the moment that they start putting that on kids and manipulating children into thinking that it's this totally normal thing and forcing them into the situation where they they, they feel that they have to do it in order to fit in that is not okay that needs to end and the word trans kids Trans children, that's, that's, uh, that should be a very frightening term for everyone out there who has parents and for everyone out there who has kids in the public school system. Not only that, but she just openly admitted to wanting to force into everything that they're doing at Disney more LGBTQIA+, whatever the, whatever the heck the stupid name is, the, the alphabet community, the alphabet people. They, they want to force in more of those people just because of what's th this because of the HB 1557 bill and I just read it for you I just read for you the basic overview of what the bill is I just I just did that the last action took place on 03 29 2022 I just read this for you and nowhere in here does it say that there's n that you're not allowed to be gay Okay, it doesn't say that you're not allowed to do that, say that, be that. It says you're not allowed to manipulate kids and you're not, not, not allowed to discuss sexual ideology with kids at a certain age, which is totally acceptable because kids don't have a fully developed brain and they're not going to be able to comprehend what's going on. I've already talked about multiple times on this, on this channel, a, a girl who had her hair slicked back after taking a shower and she broke down crying because she thought she accidentally turned into a boy. Okay, the stuff that's being taught in schools is harmful to kids and their mental health and their mental development, and it needs to it needs to be a called attention to. And they're openly pushing a a uh, a woke agenda at Disney because of the HP fifteen fifty seven bill. And they f they either are ignorant or they are evil. That's that's it. Now I'm going to let you this Talk play. Of, okay, like you know, proud family Disney TVA. Um, the showrunners were super welcoming, Meredith Roberts and like the, the our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda and I don't have to be afraid. Just admit to, like, that. Did you just hear that what she said? My not at all secret gay agenda. Ugh. Let's have these two characters kiss. Let's in the background this are, like I was just wherever I could just basically adding queerness to like the, if you see anything queer. The I just want to point out how giddy she is about injecting gayness and queerness and sexuality into kids shows into kids movies into kids cartoons into kids centric storylines okay she is so hell-bent on manipulating children into wanting to be gay that she is forcing it in at every corner she can just that those are her words exactly so proud, right? but like I, I just was like no one would stop me and no one was trying to stop me i've had the privilege of working with the moon girl team for the last two years and they've been really open to exploring queer stories and part of i'm on the production side uh part of uh the work that i feel like i can put in is um making sure that we take place in modern day new york so making sure that that's like an accurate reflection of new york so i put together like a tracker of our background characters to make sure that we have like a the full breadth of expression and uh we got into a very similar conversation carrie of like oh all of our like 
gender non-conforming characters are in the background. And so it's not just a numbers game um, of how many LGBTQ plus. And you just, you just heard that other girl admit, oh yeah, well, I forced it in in every corner I could. The reason why it's in the background so much, according to their own voices, is because they were trying to manipulate. It's a psychological tactic. It really is. Your brain will pick up on things in the background which you're not necessarily paying attention to, but because it's in the background, your brain does take notice of it. Your brain takes notice of a lot of stuff, okay? And the tiny things in the background that go on behind behind the veil of you thinking that you're, you're paying attention to one thing when another thing is happening, there are suggestive principles at work basically manipulating kids into thinking something that's not true. It's, it's, a, it's a psychological manipulation tactic. It really is. It, and it's been going on at Disney for so long. It, it, that's probably why there's so, effem so many effeminate people uh, at, at, Di at, at Disney and people who watch Disney. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> but I mean, you, you see this. He's like, oh my gosh, we didn't have enough LGBTQ plus characters in the forefront. I'm so, I'm so horrific. Ah. Get over it. First of all, get over it. Get a deeper voice and start talking like a man. And secondly, don't don't just force in gay people for the for the sake of having gay people. Okay, if there's a story you want to tell, and the character happens to be gay, then tell the story with a character that happens to be gay. I'm a Christian, and I'm going to be writing a story about a character called Blur in one of my comics who is lesbian at the start of the comic. Okay. I'm going to be telling a story like that, and it's going to be a, it's not going to be a, the main central focus, which is what they're trying to do. They're trying to put this on as a central focus for these characters. It's not important. What is important is the way the character acts, the way the character responds to situations, the way the character tries to fight against evil, the, what their morals are, their, their alignment, whether it's good or evil, their desire to help people. What is, their, what is their moral alignment? Not who do they sleep with. Yet that's all they're putting the importance on. That's the big difference between people who try to write good stories and happen to have gay characters in there versus Disney who's genuinely forcing homosexuality in the LGBTQ, A, W, X, Y, and Z uh, alphabet radio community uh, down your throat. Just th there, that's the difference. All right, I'm going to let the rest of this play, but just keep that in mind. Characters you have, we got the further... Uh, the, the more centered a story is on a character, the more nuanced you get to get into their story. And especially with like trans characters, you can't see if someone is trans. There's not one way to look trans. And so kind of the only way to have these like canonical trans characters, canonical asexual characters, canonical bisexual characters is to give them stories where they can like be their whole selves. Last summer we, we were moving. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, uh... Let me break the rest of that down. Basically, he's saying we have to forcibly tell everyone that this person is trans so that we can get them to understand the nuances of the character. Shut up. Shut up. You say, hey, by the way, I had a, I had a transition therapy session not too long ago. I'm sorry, I'm a, little, I'm a little wiped. And then just move on, you know? You don't have to go through the stupid garbage of, of forcefully saying, oh my gosh, you're so brave for being trans. Oh, wow, incredible. Shut up. Shut up. No one cares about the, the quote-unquote bravery of these individuals that you're putting, these fictional characters that you're putting in your movies. No one cares about that quote-unquote bravery because they, they, they sleep with who they want to sleep with. Oh my gosh, wow, they're so incredible. No, no, <laughs> people care about traditional bravery, bravery, going into the heat of battle, sacrificing yourself to save a child from a burning building, uh, you know, sacrificing something important to you for the betterment of others. That's what people want to see. They don't want to see, oh my gosh, I wanted to sleep with dudes, so I put on fake breasts and called myself a woman so I could sleep with other dudes. That's not what people want to see, all right? It's very simple. People want to see traditional bravery, not your warped, delusional, new definitional version of bravery, okay? That's the difference. That's the difference. Um, gendered 
greetings in relationship to our live spiels. So we no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, we, we've trained, we, we've provided training for all of our, our cast members in, in relationship to that. So now they know it's, it's hello everyone or hello friends. We, oh. we are in the process of changing over those, those recorded messages. And so many of you are probably familiar when we brought the fireworks back to the Magic Kingdom. We no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we say dreamers of all ages. And so I love the fact that it's opened up the creativity, the opportunity for our cast members to look at that. We don't want to just assume because someone might be um, in, in our interpretation, maybe presenting as female, that they may not want to be called princess. So let's think differently about how do we really engage with our guests in a meaningful and uh. inclusive way that makes it magical and memorable for everyone. We don't have enough okay. leads. Boy, oh boy. So that last one. Uh, we've removed gendered speech from our uh live spiels that's what she said so not only are they now manipulating the cartoons but they're also manipulating the thought processes or the thought processes of uh of young individuals of parents of uh of people of all ages by taking away the gendered language and it's so stupid first of all there are only two sexes male and female and your gender will correlate to those two sexes, male or female. Male? Oh, you have a dong. Okay, you have a dong, you got testosterone, you got XY chromosomes, that makes you a man. All right? Okay, so female. Uh, XX chromosomes. No dong. Uh, breasts that can milk a child, you know, can, can, can feed a child. Okay, so you're a, you're a woman. Those are the only two options. XX and XY, those are the only two options in regards to uh, XX and XY chromosomes, male and female chromosomes. That's the only way that you can differentiate from between people. There is like a 0.17% of people on this planet who are intersex, meaning that they are born with both parts, but only one of them tends to work. So you might have a person who was born with both the female part and the male part, but the male part works only. And the female part is basically just for show. Whereas some others might have a female part and a male part, and the female part works only. Those are called intersex individuals, or Aphrodites. And they are very rare in the grand scheme of things. So typically we go by the male or female standard based off of which genitalia works better. That is a known thing. I could probably pull up the statistics if anyone wants to argue with me about that. Uh, but... I, I'm curious to see how Ron DeSantis is going to react, but I just want to say one more thing about that that ridiculous dreamers of all ages and, and removing ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That's – that's. I'm trying not to yell because my sister is still asleep and I don't want to wake her up all the way across the house. I am – it doesn't make any sense. This is stupid. You have the – Goodness gracious. I'm sorry, you guys. I have I don't know how I can review this without getting mad because it's so stupid and it's genuinely manipulative. It really is. It's genuinely manipulative. And these people are trying to manipulate your children into thinking one way sexually when they wouldn't do so normally or naturally. Like it, it, it's, it comes down to this manipulation tactic. It really is. They're, they're trying to forcefully manipulate your children into thinking that there are no boys or girls anymore. That there is no such thing as male or female. That's what, that's, that, by their own admission, according to removing gendered language so that they can become, quote-unquote, all-inclusive. Uh, introducing trans characters and focusing on them and their transsexuality in their, in their stupid uh, transsexual-centered content. Um, the the desire to push more characters like this onto the public and into the into the forefront of stories, and all this in response. This 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 video, this call, this Zoom call was in response to the HB fifteen fifty seven bill. Ridiculous. Now I want to see how Ron DeSantis reacts because I'm interested. Um, in narratives in which gay characters just like just DeSantis. get to be characters. Right uh, Why is the hill to die on? to have transgenderism injected into kindergarten classrooms. Meanwhile, if we had done a bill that prohibited 
uh, talking about the abuse of Uyghurs in China, Disney would have supported that legislation because they don't want to say a word about that. So it's just an odd manifestation of their corporate values that they actually do Disney cruises, Tucker, to the nation of Dominica, which criminalizes homosexuality. So they're fine doing that and lining their pockets. They're fine lining their pockets from the CCP and all the atrocities that go on there. But it's those kindergartners in Florida that they really want to have transgenderism uh, as part of their core curriculum in school. Honestly, I could have just played the video and showed Ron DeSantis' reaction. That would have been a good enough response. Uh, I need to learn how to kind of shorten my thoughts and, and just kind of allow it so that, so that it's a lot easier for me to kind of just let you guys get a really quick video because this is 20 minutes long. Uh, but, I mean, I've shared my thoughts. I think Ron DeSantis summed it up way better. Uh, he was able to kind of point out the absurdity of Disney's desire to push transgenderism and gender ideology onto kindergartners and third graders, uh, kindergartners through third graders. And again, if you guys want to take a screenshot of the bill, here it is. Here it is. Here's the HB 1557 bill. Its essence is preventing harm from coming to children. And anyone who hasn't taken the time to read this bill and they are saying it's the don't say gay bill is either incredibly ignorant or they are genuinely in support of children being groomed in the classroom by uh, teachers. That's Those are the only two options. Those are the only two options. So once again, I hope you guys learned something from this. This is a very, very important thing that, that's going on in the world today. And Disney has shown their true colors. They have shown the fact that they want to manipulate individuals, and especially young people, uh, uh, children, into having different sexual ideologies or sexual orientations than they would naturally. And it's it's kind of disgusting. It really is. Not even kind of. It, it really is. Dis it's totally disgusting to see the depravity of Disney and their desire to trans your kids or to manipulate kids into thinking that they are trans. Or to manipulate kids into thinking that having uh, actual specific scientific uh, biological terms for male and female is somehow evil. When it's just science. It's, it's the basics of biology. There are, there's a difference between male and female. And Disney is desperately trying to manipulate your kids into thinking that that is not the case. All the while trying to push this weird, radical sexual ideology on them. Uh, and they're aiming it at children. They're aiming it at children. It really is. Because Disney is a child-friendly company. At least that, that's what they claim. But, uh, but you, know, you know what they say about the Pope, too. I mean, the Pope is a child-friendly individual as well. <laughs> we all know how that goes. <laughs> So, honestly, get your kids away from Disney. Make sure that you don't support them. Vote with your dollar. Keep them from making any money, especially after this, because it's it's just disgusting to see them try to manipulate kids into certain situations, and it needs to stop. We need to vote with our dollar and take them out. Just make sure that they don't have the money to fund their crazy, radical sexual ideology being pushed on children, okay? That's what we got to do as... as as parents, as family members, as people who are concerned about children, we need to make sure that we, we, we don't give them any money or any fuel to add to their fire that's trying to burn down uh, the nuclear family. All right, well, I hope you guys found this video educational. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below in the comment section. I always love seeing you guys' thoughts. It's so cool to see you guys uh, kind of inter inter interchange with each other, talk about things with each other. I just got some comments about the Moon Knight stuff from a video that I did like a week ago. So I appreciate every comment that comes in. I love seeing you guys kind of talk in the comment section. And subscribe. If you haven't already, uh, hit that bell notification icon because that will uh, alert you to whenever I upload new videos. And yeah, that's going to do it for the day. Also, follow me over on Rumble. Uh, you can find me at Rancid, capital R-A-N-T-S-I-T. -T. Uh, all one word, no spaces. And you can also follow me over on Sweaty Calves at Patreon.com. I'm uploading stuff about my comics on there. Uh, whenever I get a page finished with my comic, whether it's sketches, inked in uh, pages, or colored in pages, I'll be uploading them to specific tiers on uh, my Patreon. So... Hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week.